Hi everyone and welcome back. Okay, so today I've got 77 amazing pencils to show to you. You're probably thinking, well, why 77? Um, probably some of you have thought, well, because your channel's called Smoothie 77, that's why it's 77 amazing pencils. Well, no, it's not actually. Um, the reason that I've got 77 of them here is because um, Ian, who's a member over on my Patreon channel, um, he sent me these as a gift which was very kind and very generous of him and I really do appreciate this because these really are 77 amazing pencils and I asked him did you send 77 because you know the channel was called Smoothie 77 he said no it was just pure coincidence that you got 77 pencils so I thought well that's some coincidence isn't it but regardless of that coincidence um, I've laid them out for you today so I can kind of just quickly go through them and just show you um, you know some really great pencils here. I've not laid them all out um, I've got to go through these first and I've got another section um, to lay out. I've got some more bags of pencils here um, which I've got to kind of lay out. Now Ian put them all into bags for me kind of separated them into various categories and we've got the random pencils or the miscellaneous pencils here and these are all Indian pencils and then I've got just about the full history of Ticonderoga in here so we'll get to those in just a minute and the great thing is about this selection of pencils here um, I've never tried most of them and most of them here I've wanted to try for a long time so this was an absolutely amazing set of pencils to send to me you couldn't have picked a better choice of pencils and wow Ian you must have an amazing collection of pencils to have some of these as duplicates because these really are some top quality pencils here. Okay, so let's um, let's start at the top over here. I'm just going to use this pencil just to point at the various ones. So just here we've got four Stedler Mars Ergo Soft pencils, all in HB. They're a triangular pencil, and um, they have like a, a textured sort of rubber coated grip on them. And the very dark leads in there actually, they're darker than a usual um, Stedler Mars Lumograph, so obviously there's different leads being used in there. And underneath that we've got a Stedler Wopex. Um, it looks like it's made from wood, but actually I think it's made from some sort of recycled material or some kind of plastic or something. And again, very dark lead in that one. And the next one down we've got the Faber-Castell Grip. Again, that's a triangular shaped wood case pencil and it's got these little black rubber raised bumps on it to um, improve the grip. And again, very nice pencil that one. And now we're getting into some um, Japanese pencils here. We've got um, two Mitsubishi um, 9850 pencils, both in HB. Um, I've only sharpened one at the minute and wow, they are fantastic. Really smooth, nice and dark. Um, although it says on them smooth you know writing pencil for office use take no notice of that you can use them for drawing you know they're not just used for handwriting they're really really top quality pencils um, and underneath that we've got two more um, Mitsubishi pencils although it doesn't say Mitsubishi on them um, you can just make out the logo there and then we've got some writing in Japanese which obviously I can't read but both of those pencils are in a B grade and they're both triangular. And underneath that we've got another Mitsubishi and that one is the 9000 um, in a B grade again. I haven't actually tried that one yet. Um, and underneath that we've got some Tombow Mono. Uh, well, not Mono, there is a Mono there, but these aren't Mono. These are the um, 8900s. And again, it says for general handwriting but obviously you don't have to use them for that, like I mentioned, you know, with these Mitsubishi ones. They are really lovely leads in the Tombows. In fact, all the Tombow and the Mitsubishi pencils are all really high quality and actually quite expensive pencils to buy. Um, quite hard to get in the UK as well. So really nice pencils. Um, and underneath that we've got some more Tombow. These are the 2558 in HB. Eraser capped, good looking pencil. Um, and again, I don't know why they keep putting for general writing on there because they could easily get away with, um, you know, for fine drawing or something because they really are quality pencils, really good. 
Um, now the next one down, you, you probably know this, I've got some of these, these are the, the Tombow Mono um, 100 uh, in 2B. Again they're really smooth dark pencil, really nice to draw with, but again quite expensive. They even have a real kind of, well, it's not real gold, but it's a real metal um, inlay around the top there. And it looks like kind of a, pla a white plastic inlay that runs around the top as well. So it's quite a lush pencil. There's a lot of, you know, effort gone in just to making that pencil, and that's probably why it's quite expensive. But they haven't skimped on the lead or anything in there. It really is a very lush pencil to use. Okay, and the next one down, um, you probably all know that one if you're in America. It's the General's Semi Hex, number two pencil. And the one underneath, I really like it. It's the um, the General's Cedar Point um, in HB. And it's made in the USA and it's a bare wood um, wood casing there. There's no finish on it or anything. It might have a very light matte lacquer spray on it, but it, it, it looks to me like there's nothing on there at all. Um, but I like that look. I like that kind of rough and ready kind of workman look. It really looks like a pencil you can you know, use. And it really is. It's got a lovely lead in there. It's really nice to hold as well with that kind of matte natural wood finish on there. I wouldn't mind getting some more of those. I really like those pencils. Um, the next one's down. We've got two Paper Mates Mirado Black Warriors in HB. Um, again, they're nice, soft, dark pencils, considering they're just an HB. And if I remember rightly as well, the Mirado um, pencils were made by Beryl, I think, at one time. Pretty sure they were. But obviously now they're made by Paper Mates. And the next one down is the Palomino Blackwing 16.2. Now the classic Blackwing is the 602, isn't it? The 602, not the 16.2. And that's got a sort of a grey finish on it. Um, but since that was kind of re-released, um, the, Palomino, the Palomino Blackwing range has kind of extended and they're making collector's models, collector's editions. Um, and all that kind of thing. Now I've got a confession actually, this is the first time I've ever actually used um, a Palomino Blackwing. Now I know that's not the, you know, the super dark one, um, but that really is a lovely pencil and I love this eraser design. The way you can unclip that eraser and replace it um, if you ever run out. I think that's a really nice design. I really do like those pencils and it's inspired me now to try and track down some um, Palomino 602s um, to give those a try. And underneath that we've got another Palomino that's called the Forest Choice. And again that looks like a bare wood pencil. And I really do like the look of the bare wood pencils. I think they really really look good. Um, and again it's a good looking pencil. Green um, ferrule on there with the pink eraser. And underneath that we've got another Palomino and that's the Prospector. And underneath that we've got two very similar looking pencils, both called the Golden Bear. I'm pretty sure they're something to do with Palomino, they're made in the same place. I might be wrong on that, I'm not too sure. Um, but they're all very similar and they're all very nice high quality pencils. Um, and the next one there is quite a shock actually. Um, if you'd have said to me at the start of this video, you know, once I laid all the pencils out, which one do you think is probably going to be the worst pencil there? or the most inexpensive pencil there. I would have pointed straight to that one. It's the Rexel Office Pencil. Um, it's got a, a lightly lacquered wood finish. It's got kind of a satin sheen to it. Um, now I know these pencils um, are very inexpensive. I've seen them on eBay actually. You can buy sort of boxes of 50 of them just for a few pounds. You can get them really, really, really cheap. Um, and Ian actually sent me two of these and I really enjoy using this pencil. In fact, the other one is in my pencil case right now and I'm actually using it for drawing. Um, it's a true HB pencil, probably slightly darker. Well, it is slightly darker than a, a true HB lead, but it's very, very smooth with a really nice lay down of graphite. Um, and I was really surprised at the high quality of such an inexpensive pencil. And the eraser on that, I've never seen anything like it. That's the best eraser I've used on any pencil. Um, and I think Rexel should start probably making pencil erasers with this 
rubber compound that they're using here because that just erases everything in its path it's fantastic so for a pencil that costs next to nothing it really is a fantastic pencil I'm going to try and get some more of those because the price of them um, is really really cheap one of the cheapest pencils you can buy um, but it's a, I think it's a classic I think it's a really good pencil to have okay so moving on the next one underneath I've never heard of before it's spelt S-I-V-O, so that's Sivo, Sivo, um, Styles HB. Very nice pencil, but I've never heard of it before, so I can't really say anything more um, about that one. I probably ought to do a bit of research online about that, actually. Um, and the one underneath that I've used before, the Koh-i-Noor Toisson d'Or um, 1900, that's in 3B. Um, I've got a set of those, they are really nice pencils to use. Um, a classic in my opinion really nice right the next one I'll just put this pencil down because I want to hold this one up now this pencil is a Ticonderoga um, Ian put it in the miscellaneous um, pile for some reason but I think probably it should have gone over with the Ticonderogas in those plastic bags but nonetheless it's here now and what a good looking pencil it looks well it's a holographic pencil it looks like it's a sort of hollow glass with a light show going on in there. I mean, when you turn this in the light, and you move this around, it's quite fascinating. I could spend ages just, you know, looking at this and turning it in the light. And when it's lying there on your desk and you walk by your desk, the, the light kind of moves along there. It looks like it's plugged in or something. It's, it's absolutely mesmerizing. Um, and I mean I've, I've used it but it's so distracting to use because as you're drawing with it you've got this kind of light show going on all the time and, you, <laughs> and you're always looking at that thinking wow what is going on with that it really is a fascinating pencil that one I really do like that um, and it's got this black wood um, wood casing it's obviously kind of dyed dyed wood in there and the lead in there is super dark super smooth and it's a fantastic quality pencil it really is a good pencil one of my favorites now that one um, I don't know how much drawing I'm going to do with it like I say because it's really distracting it really is um, but yeah I mean I'm going to have that on, on my desk and I'm, it's fantastic I just love it I really love it thanks very much Ian you made my day <laughs> I just love shiny things I think I'm a magpie uh, but there you go but that made my day when I saw that I thought what a fascinating pencil now the next three uh, pencils there they're all vintage pencils um, by Eberhard Faber and as I'm sure some of you know or maybe you don't know Eberhard Faber was the original maker of the uh, Blackwing pencils and his pencils now you know are very collectible very sought after it's a very good quality very nice pencils and this first one here is the Van Dyke in 3H haven't actually sharpened that one yet so I look forward to trying that one and the other two there are the wood clinched Eberhard Faber USA Mongol 482 number two pencils great looking pencil with those ferrules and that eraser one of my guilty pleasures is um, number two pencils I love them you know the typical school office pencil I love the yellow color I love the variations you get with the um, the ferrules on the erasers and I just love the look of them. I think they're just classic looking pencils um, and I think they are classics there. They're really nice, really nice pencils. Okay, so onto these. Now these are all from India and again, these were a real pleasant surprise for me because I've never used them before. In fact, I barely heard of them, to be honest. Um, so they're quite a new one on me and wow they are so smooth and so dark and the price of them again they're like the Rexel office pencil they cost virtually nothing you can buy a box of 10 of them on ebay for pound ninety nine or something and you get an eraser with them and a pencil sharpener they're virtually just giving them away i mean it's, it's crazy i mean these are a fantastic pencil you'd think though from the price that you're going to get absolute rubbish but far from it, you've got a very high quality pencil here. Um, and the best ones that I've found are these um, Apsara Absolute, extra strong, extra dark, and they're not kidding either. They really are. I mean, this is like um, a 6B pencil. It really is that dark. 
although none of these Indian pencils are graded in the same way um, as most other pencils, you know, HB, 2B, 4B, etc. Um, they all say things like, you know, extra strong, extra dark, um, dark writing, good for handwriting, that kind of thing, extra dark, uh, bonded leads, um, all, all that kind of thing. So none of them are actually graded as such. And most of them here are by a company called Absara. Um, I'll just quickly go through them. So we've got the Absara Absolute, the Absara Premium, um, just in the standard wood case. We've got the Absara Premium again, um, but that's eraser tipped. And then we've got two more Absara Premiums there, and they're both triangular pencils. And then we've got some Absara Beauty, just standard wood case pencils. These two, I can't really make out what they are. It looks like the Apsara, is it J01 or JOI? Meant to say Joy or something, I don't know. Um, but they're both made by Apsara. And this one, again, this is, this is a fascinating pencil. This is the Apsara Easy Grip, extra dark. And again, it's a very dark, smooth pencil. I really like this pencil. As soon as I saw it, I thought, ooh. I bet that's uncomfortable. You know, they've carved the wood out there. If I bring that a bit closer, you can kind of see that kind of carved spiral running along the pencil there. My first thoughts were, um, you know, that's going to be very uncomfortable to hold, but I cannot believe how well that actually works. And it really is comfortable and it really is a lovely grip. And I think that's a great idea. Um, and I'm really going to enjoy using that pencil. In fact, I'm going to try and find some more of these. I think they're really good. That's a really nice pencil. So if you ever see any of these, don't let that spiral grip put you off. Give it a try. It really is comfortable and you've really got a nice grip with that because it's a round um, wood case pencil there. And I always prefer round pencils. They're always more comfortable. Um, you know, you've got no hard edges of the hexagonal pencils, you know, digging into your fingers or anything. Um, but this being round and with this spiral on it, it's, it's like a perfect combination really is a lovely pencil to use and hold. I've only got one of those. I'm going to try and see if I can get some more of those because they're really nice. Now the next one you wouldn't lose if you dropped it, would you? <laughs> um, it's by Doms. It looks like Doms to me. I think that's supposed to be a D. Um, HB Neon, made in India. Again, I haven't tried that one yet, but I can only imagine it's going to be lovely, smooth and dark and a very nice quality pencil to use. Now all of these here, these are by a company called Nataraj, um, and I'm not sure if Nataraj are kind of a, a spin-off company from Apsara, because the leads feel you know, very much the same, very dark, very smooth. Um, and this pencil that I'm actually holding looks very similar to these just here. Now this is um, one of my own pencils. This is the Stedler Tradition. Uh, one of the old ones made in Great Britain in 4B. Really nice pencil. And when you look at these here, if I just hold these two side by side, the top one is the Nataraj. And if we kind of turn them, you can kind of see it's more than a nod towards the, uh, the Stedler tradition there, isn't it? They look very, very similar. But these are, you know, really nice pencils as well. So if you've not tried any India pencils yet, the, the India Graphite really is quality stuff. It really is. Um, I definitely recommend, you know, trying some of these. In fact, I was so impressed with these that I thought it's a shame that they don't actually make a drawing set, you know, with actual graded leads because they are fantastic pencils. So I've done a little bit of research online and lo and behold, they do actually make a drawing set. And so I bought it and it came in this box. I'll just open it up for you. Um, you've got a free uh, eraser in there. I think there's 15 pencils. I can't remember exactly. It's been a while um, since I've used these. Cause it's been a couple of months actually since Ian sent these and it's only just now that I'm getting around to making this video actually. Um, but you've got a full range of pencils in there and they're really super quality and the finish on them is immaculate like all of these as well um, they're flawlessly finished the leads are centered properly you can't fold them in any way you really can't and these have got this lovely kind of blue looks like kind of carbon fiber 
finish to them. And all they say on them is Apsara Drawing. And we've just got the barcode on the other side there. And that's that's as much as you get. Um, well, like I say, they come in a full range of LEDs there. We've got 6H, we've got 9B. I think there's even an 11B in there, if I remember. Let me get them out and have a look. Yeah, we've even got a, an 11B in there. Look at the thickness of that LED in that one. Really thick, chunky LED. These really are good quality pencils. Um, and again, they were very inexpensive, ridiculously priced. Um, I think they're about five pounds or something, just you know, for a full set of fifteen pencils. You really must try these; they're, they really are um, wonderful pencils to use. Now, the only drawback that I found with the Apsara drawing pencils is, although we've got a lot of grades of pencils there, quite a few of them are the same grade. In all honesty. Um, there's very little difference between some of the grades. I mean, obviously, it's when we're talking, you know, an H compared to an 11B or a 9B, obviously, there's a massive amount of difference. But I'm talking things like the HB to the B to the 2B to the 3B, 4B. They're, they're very, very similar. And some of those in there, I would say, honestly, are... I mean, I might be wrong but they do look like the same grade of lead there. So although you've, you've got a really good set of pencils there, probably really only half of them um, would be usable to get, you know, variations in the grades there. But the others you just use as spares anyway. You know, if you kind of run out of your HB, you'd go and get an H or a B or something out and just use that instead because it's very similar. But apart from that, um, that's the only the only slight fault I can find with them um, and apart from that these are lovely pencils and I'm going to be using these more the only other slight issue is particularly with the darker ones I've tried to use them for um, pencil and wash technique with watercolor and the the dark ones particularly when you shade with them they do seem to be very water soluble they do seem to they're not water um, soluble pencils they are true graphite but the water does seem the sorry the graphite does seem to lift quite a lot when water is applied over them and they really do seem to muddy the washes so they're not the ideal pencil for pencil and wash um, but for really dark um, areas in your drawing these are ideal really fantastic pencils okay so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to move these out of the way and I'm going to quickly lay out the Ticonderogas and we'll quickly go through those Okay, so that's the Ticonderogas laid out there. Now this top section, um, Ian put these in, you know, all separate bags for me. So this top section um, is all Japanese, and this one are all miscellaneous, and these three at the bottom here are all American. Um, now these first few here, they're just a standard number two pencil. Then underneath we've got the Ticonderoga black, um, still an HB pencil, and. Um, I think it's just basically just a different barrel colour. It is a nice dark lead in there, but it's kind of the same um, lead grade as the others, really. Um, very nice, though. Very nice pencils. In fact, I've got to be honest and say that after testing all of these out, um, you know, the USA ones against the Japanese ones, and the... I'll, well, I'll bring these in in a minute, but the Mexican ones that I've been using, I have to say that my favourites are actually the Japanese ones. They seem to be the smoothest. They just feel really nice when you're using them. They're nice dark leads in there. And it's funny because everybody um, said to me, once I'd made that um, previous Ticonderoga video a couple of years ago, people writing saying, you've got to try um, some American made Dixon Ticonderogas, they're the best. And having tried them, yes, they are fantastic pencils way better than the um, you know the Mexican ones there's hardly any grit in there and they are a true HB pencil I like that you know it's a true HB lead in there and it's it's very nice whereas these although they say HB compared to the European grading system they're not an HB they are more like a B a B lead a darker lead um, in my opinion and because of that, you can kind of fall into that trap of something being smooth and dark and therefore it's better, which really I shouldn't do. I should probably say the American version is better because it's a true HB lead. It's just that the, the Japanese ones 
they feel darker and smoother but that again it doesn't necessarily mean they're a better pencil it just means they've probably got a, a different grade of lead in there than what's actually stated on the wood casing and Japanese leads do run darker in general than um, anything I've used previously you know the European leads like the Derwents, Stedlers, Faber-Castells, Koinors etc um, and even some of these American pencils that I've used the Japanese leads definitely are darker in general so um, you know I'm not going to say they've got the wrong lead in there that's just how the Japanese do it they are really fantastic pencils so they really are um, I haven't tried some of these miscellaneous ones yet I think these are the, pretty much the same as the Mexican ones that I've got um, the two underneath again good looking pencils they haven't got the yellow paint on it they've just got that bare wood look and they are the Ticonderoga Evo stick green eraser on there as opposed to the standard pink eraser and then the next two down are the Ticonderoga Tri-Rite and they're both triangle uh, wood casing on there and the next one down again I really love this idea this is a triangular pencil and this one's called the Ticonderoga Groove and as you can see it's got holes kind of bored out all along the sides there and again for some reason it just really really works as a pencil grip in fact I prefer this this type of thing shaving a bit of the um, shiny paint away um, and using the wood to grip I prefer that actually instead of the the uh, rubber coating and these little rubber nubs that Stedler and um, Faber-Castell are using this feels much nicer much more natural um, yeah, I think more pencil manufacturers ought to do this. It's, pretty, it's more than likely a more cost-effective way of doing things as well. So I think it's a great idea, that. Now I'm just going to throw a wild card in now. This is a pencil from my own um, collection. I've only got one of these and I don't know anything about it. It came with several other pencils which I bought um, ages ago. This one's called the Dixon Tri Condoroga. It's a number two HB, which has got a black eraser in there, and again, triangle body, and it's got this matte black kind of rubberized finish on it. I haven't actually sharpened this or used this yet, um, but I'm going to kind of add this in there. I don't know what country of origin it's from, but hey, you know, it's a Ticonderoga, so um, you know, that can go with those. And the other two pencils which I've got here are both from separate boxes of Ticonderogas which I bought. Both boxes say made in Mexico, but they're both different pencils. This one hasn't got the soft embossed in there, stamped on there. Um, but this one looks very similar to these two that I think, in fact, I think it's identical. Yeah. So that one is a match for those. But this one, um, don't know anything about it. I mean, it's it's got a number stamped in there. It looks like... 3414 I think but the box it came in said Mexico so I have no idea um, you know about these other than these are the ones that I've been using um, they're just kind of a slightly different design to uh, most of the others there so I think with all these and this sparkly one this holographic one here that's a pretty good collection of Ticonderogas there there are other models um, different colours and things like that you can get. I mean, this is probably just the tip of the iceberg of what you can collect with the Ticonderogas, but um, I really like them, you know, and that's really kind of boosted my Ticonderoga collection no end. So thanks very much, Ian. I really do appreciate what you've done now. I'm so grateful for that. Um, it's a fantastic um, selection of pencils that you've sent me there, and it's really boosted my collection. And I've had so much fun going through these and trying them all out. And what I'm going to start doing um, is using them in my drawing demos and then I can give a fair and honest opinion, you know, on how good they actually perform. You know, instead of kind of um, just swatching them and just testing them that way, I like to give them um, a good long test with a drawing. That way you can really see what they're like when you layer up with them and then erase with them um, and what they're like on different kinds of papers, etc. So I'm going to start to be picking one of these out now every time I need an HB pencil and using it in the drawing demos so um, we can all sort of get a good idea of how they perform. 
Okay, so thanks very much for watching everybody. I hope that was um, enjoyable and interesting for you. And again, big thank you to Ian. Really appreciate what you've done there, my friend. Thank you. Um, and I'll see you all in the next video. So take care, everybody. Bye for now.